Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how we can estimate credit card interest based on a certain APR or interest rate. So let's read the problem. It says, after you made a minimum payment on your credit card, so you, you paid the smallest amount, the minimum payment that you can make without getting any kind of penalty on your credit card. So you have a remaining balance then of $538. Okay, so we have $538 left to pay. If this credit card has an APR of 9.57%, I'll write that down, APR, not AR, APR, annual percentage rate of 9.57%, and a billing cycle of 30 days, what will the interest be at the end of the billing cycle? So we have 30 days of this interest building up, and then at the end of those 30 days, we make a, we have a bill, basically, that adds the remaining balance we had before, the 538, and whatever interest we now have. So it's that 538 plus our new interest. This card also has an annual billing cycle of 360 days, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Now, the APR, when they give you this number right here, it depends on the credit card, but it really depends on how often they, they break the interest down. In this case, they're saying, well, this APR number, this 9.57%, that's per year. And since they assume that the year has 360 days in it, and there are different reasons for assuming that, but really just works nicely with the number 30, right? You have 30 day building cycles that divides evenly into 360 days. That's that connection right there. So this is 9.57% uh, per year, but we want to take that number. We want to divide it by 100 to turn it into a decimal. Okay, so that gets us 0 0.0957, all right? And what this is is our, our yearly APR expressed as a decimal, and we want to know what is that per day. So we take that number, 0 0.0957, and divide it by the 360 days in their billing year. And this number will be our daily periodic rate. That's what we're going to basically be paying per day. So let's find out what that is in this case. 0 0.0957 divided by 360. I get you, it's, it's a really small number. It says 2.65833333 times 10 to the negative fourth. So that means uh, it's 0 0.000, and I'll explain that 10 to the negative fourth, 26583. 26583, repeating. So this is our, our daily interest rate every single day, the little bit of interest that we're accumulating on this credit card. Now, credit cards compound interest, but we're going to estimate it by using simple interest because over the course of a 30-day billing cycle, the simple interest and the compound interest are actually very close. So we can take this number, and we can leave it as a fraction as well in our writing. They're the same numbers. And we want to multiply it by the 538, our remaining balance of $538, times this fraction. I'm just going to write the fraction out. Times the number of days that uh, we have left in our billing cycle, which is 30. And that's going to give us our total interest over the period. It's an estimate, really. Um, but it gives us a really good estimation of the interest for the period. So let's do that. We do. 538. Now we already have that number entered on our calculator, so I'm going to press times second answer, that's the previous number, times 30. And that's it, 4.29055, and to the nearest hundredth, it's 4.29, so it's $4.29. And let's go enter this in, let's see if it works. Here's our answer, 4.29. Yay, it works. And here it shows us the steps in a really compact way. So please review those examples to get more support.